All right, guys, you're talking hitting, and specifically, Carlos, you're talking Manny Machado. Wow. Yes. This guy's been absolutely outstanding, by the way. Um, the numbers speak for themselves, but I want to dive into how he does it, Rip, because right. it goes immediately to timing, right? Being ready to hit. Now, we say that all the time. However, most of the time, we're late, especially when they rush us with the fastball that's elevated, maybe middle in. You see very, very... But you're sitting on 99 in up. Precisely. You know, know where I'm going. So let me show you how it works. With them. <laughs> now, this is not rush to that elevator fastball. You're not rushing to it. You're just giving yourself enough time to hit it. Remember, we tend, let's play it, because we tend to judge speeds a lot slower than they truly are, Rip. We're like, yeah, I'm ready to hit. No, you're not. You're falling off fastballs right down the middle. How come you are falling those off if you're ready to hit? He has been ready to hit. So truly ready to hit. And I'm going to show you how he handles that up and in fastball right here. 93 in, uh, at his fist. He's still able to get to it. He didn't crush that ball, but he gave himself enough time to be able to get a healthy swing at it. And he's still able to move it forward without changing his swing. Rip. <clears throat> this one right here, 94 center cut. A lot of people follow that pitch off. Now I'm seeing that he's not following those pitches off. He's hitting it forward with authority. All right, these are fastballs, middle, middle end, slightly up. He's still getting to it. He gets ready early enough. That was Golly. off the plate inside, and he gets the barrel to it. 96, sinking inside, he gets the barrel to it. It's like, okay, he's getting ready to hit. Is he rushing to hit that? No. He How do I know? He doesn't rush to do anything. Did you? If you're rushing, you are whiffing at that slider. But because there's no rush, no panic in his swing, he's able to see the off-speed pitch. He's able to recognize the break of plane. That one, and see how that one popped? That ball's leaving. See you later. Black of that. Gone. <laughs> All right? Because he's given himself time to hit. Bro, when you're ready for the fastball, you become a better breaking ball hitter. When you lay for the fastball, you're going to be rushing to it. Then breaking balls get you easier. Now, this is yesterday. He comes up, runs on base. I'm going to take you to the entire bat. No, 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 that that pitch, where to take he that? That's off the it. plate. But he was ready to hit it. Okay, strike. Now, this one right here, Rip, ah, he's like, man, what am I doing? Look what he did. I want you to pause that. I want you to pause that if you can. Because I want to show you what happens to the brain of a pitcher and a catcher when he does something like this. He goes ahead. He knows he messed this up. You know, he got fooled. And he, now watch how he shakes his head. He is pretty much setting up the fact that it's like, oh, man, I, now I'm going to be ready in. for this. Hit her in, and he's ready to hit it. You now, fell for the banana and the tail pipe the right there. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> but he knows what he's doing. It's okay. I'm going to show you that I'm out in front of the, of the off-speed pitch. Man, I need to stay back. Now, this is way inside. 93, he gets the barrel to it. All right. Now, this is next AB right here. Off-speed pitch. He swings through it. He's okay with that, by the way. You have to be okay with swinging through good sliders that hide. Go back up. Back up. Right? Back up. <laughs> To that slider. Rip, this is what I'm saying. The first pitch slider? Watch this first pitch slider. Let's go to that first pitch slider. There it is. There it is. Okay. He thinks this is fastball. Why? He's looking up here. It looks like the fastball he's looking. He takes a healthy hack, swings and misses. Play. You know what? This is what he's looking for. Okay. Now, in his mind, he's not thinking, man, I, I, I got to slow it down. Oh, I, hold I, on I, a minute, Carlos, because I want to go back to that second pitch, please. The fastball in. Because when you talk about reaction, watch his reaction right here, because I would question the third pitch. Why am I not coming back in here again? Because after he swung and missed that slider to me, that reaction right there almost looked like he was looking for a slider again. That thing popped on him. Then they went away from him and allowed him to get the barrel to the bat to the ball. He's a great actor. He knows how to set these guys up. He's like, oh, man, I'm a little late on that. Fastball again. He's ready to hit it. Puts a good swing on it. Two more runs come in. He's been doing that the entire season. And Rip, we talked about this. Look at this swing. Bunch of home runs. You know, a bunch of slugging. He's got let's the go most, ahead and play. He's it. got the most gorgeous right-handed hack in the game. I'm Is telling you. Let's go back to contact. Rip and I had a conversation this morning. That's contact. Now. Is he scooping the ball no. to hit it up in the air, trying to like lift and get the launch angle? Launch angle happens after. Let's play it. Look what that barrel does. It goes forward in line with the trajectory of the pitch. He's not trying to lift it. He allows the ball to dictate. Look, if I'm slightly underneath it, that's a home run. You know, but I'm trying to hit a line drive. Look how his barrel goes through the zone. He's not trying to scoop it. Talk about Arbor Pujols having one of the 
flattest swings in baseball, yeah. and he's approaching 700. So how come Arbor didn't buy into, hey, I need to scoop the ball to hit home run? Because he's got 693. Come on, Lola. What is a plaka top rate? Okay. <laughs> what? I'm you glad got you your asked. own metric? I'm glad you asked. This is the new stat that just <laughs> oh came out, guys. Goodness. New stat. This is the Let's real go. deal. This is what tells you who the best hitters in the league are. Truly. Okay. Truly. Okay? Because we're talking about hard hit ball rates. But first swing. First swing. Don't give me the hard hit ball rate normally when you go 0 for, you know, 0 for 9, then in your 10th at bat you hit one ball hard and your hard hit ball rate is 100%. What happened to the other, you know, nine punch out? 27 swings you had, <laughs> you know, missing the ball. Now, okay, let's go per at bat. No, not even at bats. Let's go per swing. Every single time you attempt to hit the baseball, foul balls, swings and misses, check swings, if you, if you go, right? And balls you put in play. Guess where he's at? 19% of the time he's hitting the ball hard. He's at the top of this list. Now, there are a couple of surprises here. See, what I like about your list, though, is because I've, I've made this argument. If it's bases loaded, I'm down one with two outs in the ninth inning. This is the guy I want up at home plate, period. So your plock at a rate, whatever that is, and how you describe it, well, you know it now. he agreed with me right there. Per, so that, that's pretty good. There is two swing. surprises. I don't think we would talk right away about Brian and, and Brandon. I think the thing with Manny, too, when I watch him on a nightly basis and even watching the, the rip of, of, of his ABs right there, he makes in AB adjustments. First pitch slider, ooh, I pulled my front shoulder a little bit. I'm going to stay a little bit more closed. Oh, heater in. Eh, I don't think you're coming in there again. He is just in complete control of all his ABs. He always has been, though. Approach. This was a guy when he came up, he was a, much thinner. He was a 50 double guy. I remember him coming through mm -hmm. Toronto. It was doubles all over the place. The doubles become homers as he gets bigger. And he's got huge iron in the bank. Consistency and approach. <laughs> huge. Yes, he, yes, yes, he does. <laughs> huge iron. Uh, uh, well deserved, right? I mean, yeah. it, by the Great way, player. he's been up there at the top of that plaque at that rate, you know, per swing, hard hit balls, uh, per swing attempt. It, it flows with you that, that I know. you just it's, made up. He's, he's pushing this plaque at top. We need Good to, stuff, guys. This is a real deal. 